All right, last week we were working on the benches. This week we're gonna get started working on the combings and specifically the part that it connects the combing, which is what I'm sitting on right now. It's a mock-up and the old cabin top, which is more forward on the boat. It is a very challenging project that uh, really tested the limits of my patience. My name is Matt. Follow along as I turn Duracell, the legendary ocean racing sailboat, into a comfortable cruising home. Previously, when we first got the boat, the original cockpit was forward of the traveler bulkhead. And so the combing was up there, all the winches and everything were up there. For those of you who haven't watched from the beginning, basically we cut off the old doghouse and then we built a newer, bigger doghouse. This was one of the major ways in which we are modifying Duracell to be a comfortable cruising home. And what we're doing is moving everything aft to this aft section of the cockpit. And so that means we have to build new combings. And I also have to extend the raised cabin top and old combings back to this new place. Before I could start templating the extension, I had to first sand and then laminate over the exposed edge where I cut off the ends of the old traveler. Last fall we mocked up the cockpit including the benches, the seat backs, and what are the combings. This, this part of the boat is called the combing. It is what carries the winches. It is kind of a water block so that water doesn't get into the cockpit. Um, cleats and stuff are on it. And so we are going to be building new, new combings onto the boat and that includes having to blend the combing into the boat by extending the cabin top which is forward back to the combing there's going to be lines coming from the masts halyards reef lines and stuff like that coming down along the doghouse on top of this raised cabin top back to the combing and so there's two parts per side that i have to build one is the combing and then one is the extension part and so the hard part about this project is that I'm blending a bunch of weird shapes together and trying to make it look as natural as possible. There are different levels, there are different angles, the deck changes shape as it goes aft. And so yesterday I spent a bunch of time trying to fix the problems that were with, that I had with the original mock-up and I got it closer, but I need to take the whole thing apart again incorporating what I've learned from the last couple times and uh, hopefully I can make a final draft before actually cutting the real parts. So I'm working on this extension of the raised cabin top and I'm using these strings to basically draw the line. There's a couple edges that I'm trying to transfer back to the cockpit, to the combing. And so I'm using some very taut strings to transfer those lines and then drawing, like building templates underneath those strings. I'm, I'm, I hope it works. I'm not positive that it is working, but uh, so far so good anyway. We'll see once the templates are, all the templates are actually made. Yeah, oftentimes when I pick up the camera, it's like when you've already figured something out. Yeah, this time I have no idea what I'm doing. I think I'm you have I'm some trying to, idea. I'm just figuring out as I go along. I have some idea because I've been, I've attempted it so many times. How many days have you been working on this? Just a few. After several more hours of iterative design, trying my best to get the lines of the old raised cabin top to flow into the cabin top extension, I finally arrived at a template that I think is close enough. It will be easy enough to build, but won't have to do a ton of fairing when it's done. 
Okay, so I finished these templates. They look good after fiddling with them for a while, and so it's time to trace them and cut them. Before I could fit in these bigger pieces, I had to first glue in the tiny bulkheads. So we're going to glue in these little mini bulkheads which are going to be inside the extension that, ex that connects the combing to the old combing and they just add structural integrity to the new part. Start. Recently, La Paz has been spending a lot of time online. We don't want just anyone saying what La Paz does online. We like to hide our IP address in case she clicks on fishy catnip links and downloads random files that can infect our computer with malware. Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this episode. NordVPN protects our computer and our personal information from cybersecurity threats. Check out the link below the video for a very special offer. NordVPN's threat protection scans downloaded files such as bird videos from Meowware and warns you about dangerous websites and links. With our link, you get four extra months on a two-year plan. Trying NordVPN is risk-free with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So keep you and your inspector safe online and do check out our exclusive offer with NordVPN at nordvpn.com slash the Duracell project. The what are you watching? So these two pieces are fit. I did some trimming and they fit really well, so it's time to glue them on. These two pieces are mostly cosmetic. They're just filling the gap, but they do need to be able, I do need to be able to step on them to get up onto the doghouse. So they're not gonna be carrying any load like with clutches or anything like that. Uh, but that's why I put the mini bulkheads in so that you know I can step on them. Uh, without worrying about breaking them or anything like that. So right now we're gonna glue them in tomorrow. Uh, we'll fill in the gaps and glass over the whole thing. Here I'm filling the gaps between these pieces with a thickened epoxy. I thicken the epoxy with half clodial silica and half micro, micro balloons. The micro balloons will make it easy to sand and shape tomorrow before I lay down the final layers of glass. Micro balloons are also help keep the epoxy from getting too hot while curing. This is a pretty big bead of epoxy that I'm adding and I don't want it to get so warm that it sags out of the joint. And the clodial silica gives the epoxy strength and also he keeps the glue from sagging. Got this uh, extension piece cleaned up, sanded down, it's all glued in and so I just swept it with really thick epoxy and I'm ready to, 
I'm gonna put two layers of 12 ounce uh, Biax on top of it, which will make it real stiff, stiff enough to step on. I'm really excited to get this piece done because I've been kind of dreading this project specifically for a while. I was kind of afraid of it and it's turned out pretty well. Uh, and then I can start working on the combings. So this cockpit project is really coming together quickly. So gonna get this done today. Why have you been dreading this project? Uh, dreading is a, is a strong word, but I just, the extension of lines and making it look good from one end of the boat to another is very difficult. It's something I don't have a lot of experience with. And I'm like, I know at the beginning I said I was gonna try and do it so that build it so that I could, I wouldn't have to do, to minimize the amount of a fairing I have to do, and I'm still going to have to do a lot. And so, you know, I just, I just really wanted to make it look good, and um, it was going to be hard. So, you know, and it's not over yet because the next is the combings, which are an extension of this part, more or less. Um, I mean, they're kind of, they're kind of different kind of separate but they're also you know extension of this so those will also be difficult but I'm I'm it will still be really fun and interesting part of the project are these uh, windows here gonna be opening uh, I would like them to but I haven't figured out how to do that yet any ideas tell us in the comments And this extension is extra exciting for me. It's like really tying it, starting to tie the doghouse to the rest of the boat. Yeah, just wait till the combings go on. I love that you love it.
Beautiful. Check like that. Cool. Now the other side. Double the fun. That's right. I love when it goes so smoothly. We got both sides done yesterday, so we're gonna go and rip these bags off and see how they look. Solid, huh? Super solid. Really ties the boat together, huh? Yeah, there's a lot of fairing that needs to be done, but yeah, it looks pretty good. So this is the mock-up of the combing. I'm gonna get to building that next week. The cockpit is really starting to come together and I'm excited how much of a difference this new part made. And then after that, we'll be getting back to the chain plates. So a lot to look forward to. Before we sign off this week, I want to give a big shout out to all of our patrons. We couldn't do this project without you. Not only does it allow Matt to build this boat, but it supports me in documenting the project and making these videos, which is something I really enjoy doing. So thank you so much. If you'd like to join, you can go to patreon.com slash the Duracell project and help support the project. See you next week.